Hello everyone and welcome to this second phase of learning iPhone app development. Uh, so in the last phase we talked about myself. I introduced myself. My name is Casey and this is me. And in this phase um, we're going to continue from there. Oh, also in the last section we talked about um, um, the importance of having your own idea. The idea that is going to keep you moving forward in this course. And we also talked about learning Swift from codeacademy.com slash learn slash learn Swift. And um, we discussed the basically what the rest of the course would be like. So for this second phase, we are focusing on creating your own, your, creating your first app um, and your first button and then launching a new screen from that button. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, let's dive into it. So the first thing we're going to do is um, open up the Finder application on your computer and then navigate to the Documents folder. Once you get there, I want you to um, create a folder called iOS. Um, the reason I want you to do this is because this is where our projects, our iPhone projects are going to be saved. Uh, if you don't know how to create a folder, just right click, click new folder, and then name it iOS, all caps. So once you've done that, um, we're going to jump into creating the first app. So I'm going to open up Xcode and then I'm going to click create new project. And then I'm going to click uh, app, this one right here. And next, oh, by the way, make sure you're under the iOS tab. I'll click next. And let's call this project seed. So once you've done that, you can um, choose a team. You can click this if you already don't have one to follow the steps to create one. Um, but once you have a team set up on the organization identifier, just type in something like com dots maybe your nickname or something um just keep it simple but make sure it starts from com com dots you know whatever whatever simple nickname you want to put and then leave the rest of the spaces as they are make sure this one is on the storyboard this one make sure it's on ui kit app delegate language should be swift and then click next so at this point, you select that iOS folder you just created from the documents folder. Uh, once you have that selected up here, click create. All right, so uh, once you have that done, this is the screen that should show up. Oh, by the way, for this first lesson, I'm going to be kind of slow and gradual because I'm trying to walk you through Xcode. So I'm going to be very calm um, in terms of how I show you how things work. So this is your project details. In this case, the seed project. Um, here you have the project name, the project bundle identifier, the version you don't need to worry about all this for now but um what i want to show you for now is xcode so at the top right corner you're gonna see this um switch here this switch expands the center view and then we have one at the left here this this becomes very um helpful when we are actually coding and we'll get to that. There is also another one at the bottom here. We'll get to that later. Um, but so far we have three switches of this kind and they all do the same thing, which is expand your view. Um, so in iPhone development, there are two main files you need to understand. That's view controllers and uh, storyboards. So view controllers is the code that controls the screen, the content on the screen and uh, storyboards is the visual of what's happening on the screen so the visual and the view controller so the first thing i want us to do is right click on the folder seed 
and go to new group. I want us to group the view controllers and the storyboard. So type uh, storyboards plural. Press enter, and then drag the launch screen dot storyboard into that. So now it's in there. See. Next, we're going to right click again on seed and go to new group and type view controllers. Press enter and then we're going to drag our view controller into here. Then one last thing I want us to do is just create another folder. This folder is going to be empty for now. New group and call it utils. U T I L S. That means utilities. We're going to put some utilities in this folder after. So move this up. Move this up. There you go. I want the utils to be at the bottom. All right. So now we have this done. Um, this is the view controllers. The, this folder will be containing the, um, the view controllers of our storyboards. The utils folder will be containing utilities like functions, you know, extensions. We'll get into that down the line. Um, and then this assets folder is where the, we're going to be dropping in images and videos, uh, you know, all those files that we need for our projects. The info.plist file is the file we put in permissions like camera permissions, um, microphone permissions, other stuff, GPS permissions. Uh, and for now, that's all that you need to know. Uh, so with that said, let's dive into running our app. So we're going to run the app just to test out. Um, to run the app, you click play, but don't click play yet. I want you to click on seed here. Let me do that again. Click at the top here. Where by default right now it says iPod Touch. I'm going to change it to uh, iPhone 11. And then click play. So let's just see what the app looks like without any special code. For now, the app is still um, blank pretty much. So, but I'm going to click play so we can test it out. Okay. So this is the app running. It's blank. Good, good, good. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Xcode and make some changes. So, um, again, this is the storyboard and I'm going to be calm at this part because I know it's your first time and this is the view controllers. Okay. So this is the storyboard, our first screen of the app. That's why by default it's called launch screen. Um, so the first thing I want us to do is, um, kind of like, uh, change the, this is too white. Let's change the background. So maybe something a little dimmer. Um, let's see. Just slightly dimmer. Okay, great. All right. So now we just made this change from the attributes inspector. That is where we're going to be making our changes from. So whenever we have a button or anything on the screen that we want to make changes to, we do that from the attributes inspector. And at the middle here, we have our um, identity inspector. This is where we um, put IDs for views and all those um, identifying attributes for views. This is where we do them. Or even storyboards and view controllers. Um, then on this one here, is our size inspector. And then all the way to the right, we have our connections inspector. We don't currently have any connections, but they're gonna show up here down the line. For example, when we connect a button to the view controller, it's going to show up here as one of our connections. Um, so with that said, 
let's go back to this one our um, attri uh, attribute inspector and then our identity inspector so mostly we are only going to be using this two most of the time so just remember that this is our attributes inspector for now all right so i'm going to click on um oh let me show you the view controller first so this is our view controller the view controller is a swift based um code um page whereby we write code that's going to control our storyboard or xibs um xibs is basically a view on iphone um so this is where we're going to be doing those um controlling the logic everything comes in here uh so for now the first thing we are going to do is add a button to our storyboard so i'm going to click on view under the view controller here we have the view i'm going to click on that view which is this one okay then i'm going to click the plus button the plus button is up here this plus button um exposes all the possible widgets we can use while developing for iphone so we have things like labels buttons segment controls text fields sliders switch progress views we're going to get to the most important of these widgets um, as we go down the line so for now we're just going to focus on buttons um, so i'm going to click and drag a button onto our view okay i just did that i'm going to expand it a little bit oops I just pressed control i mean command z to um bring it back so and um so right now the name of this button is button um but i want us to rename it to screen let's rename it to screen two okay and i did that by double clicking on screen all right so um while you do that i'm going to um increase the font size of this text because it's too small way too small and to do that um you got from where it says fonts on the top right corner here under the uh attributes inspector so for the font i'm going to click plus 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 yeah there we go that's much readable now okay um so now let's change the background color of this button Hmm. To do that, we find the background, background color should be at the bottom here. We change it to hmm, what color now? Uh, I think uh, let's do orange. Let's do orange. No, that's too sharp. Uh, let's see, system orange. I need something lighter. Uh, how about yellow okay now since we made it yellow let's make the entire background to be black then uh, so I'm going to click on view and I'm going to change the background of view to black no maybe dark gray yeah uh no, let me make it lighter just so there will be a good contrast for you guys uh, hmm. let's see uh, something lighter light gray okay I think this is good all right um, so now we've just created screen 2 button now let's um, connect this screen to button to our view controller so that we can actually control this button from the view controller remember this is our view controller file and um, since this um, storyboard is connected to the view controller already by default all we have to do for now is just click on this menu icon at the top here this one here click on it and click on assistant 
So once you click on assistant, hmm, that's not right. Uh, let's see, assistant. Okay, I'm not sure why it's showing me this, but alternatively, you can uh, hold the options key and click view controller. And now it's going to show the storyboard side by side with this with the view controller so to make things simple i'm going to hide this section and hide this section all right so now let me show you how to connect this button to our view controller it's really simple all you have to do is hold the control key on your keyboard hold down the control key and drag the screen to button into this um, code block. Now, this should be before the last closing bracket, okay? And as you can see, it says insert action. That means these things are working correctly. So I'm going to release um, my control key and my cursor. Once I do that, I'm going to get this pop-up that would ask me to name the um, action I just added. And um, one key thing to make sure happens whenever you drag a button into your view controller is to make sure it says touch up inside. That's the expected action of a button when you're adding it as a callback function. Okay, so I'm going to call this... Uh, 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 screen two clicked. Screen two clicked. So notice that the first S is lowercase and um, the C for clicked is capital. So I'm going to click connect. Great. So now I just click connect and then um, I am going to now explain to you what this means. So this block here, inside this bracket, this is the opening um, parenthesis, this is the closing parenthesis of our screen to click. So inside here is where we're going to write the code um, of what we want this button to do. All right. So um so now we have this screen to button clicked function created um the second thing we're going to do is to go ahead and create a screen two because if you remember i told you that um we are going to be doing a basic button click and then launching a new screen from that button click all right so let's first of all create those new screens that we are going to launch from this button click all right so um let's do that so i'm going to click this and then i would right click on view controller the folder view controller i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to go to new file and then i'm making sure i'm under the ios tab I'm not going to create a Swift file. I'm going to create a Cocoa Touch class. Um, this is because a Cocoa Touch class is it is used for touch touch interface classes, even though it's based on Swift. Um, so this is a raw Swift file. This is a Cocoa Touch Swift file, and this is what we want. So I'm going to click this, and then I'll click next. So I'll call this View Controller Two. And then leave the rest as is. Uh, leave this unchecked. Language Swift. These are all defaults. And then we click next. And next again. In this case, create. So now we just created view controller two. And it's below view controller one. So now let's create storyboard two. Uh, so right click on the folder storyboards and click on new file and click on storyboard. 
make sure you're under the iOS folder and then click next we're gonna call this storyboard 2 and then we click create okay so now um, now we have the storyboard 2 created and the view controller 2 created the next thing we are going to do is we're going to we're going to now open the storyboard to from let me let me open this first uh, we're going to open the storyboard to from view controller one using this button we added to view controller one so to do this it's really simple uh, um, go back to the Google Docs you're gonna see on on, um, on number five you're going to see where it says code snippet open that up and you're going to see a code I want you to copy this code copy and then go to Xcode and paste the code inside the screen to clicked function once you have it pasted in there um, I want you to change this to your storyboard name in this case my storyboard name is story oops in this case, my storyboard name is storyboard2, so I change it to that. I don't need to make any changes because it already matches. And then for the view controller, change it to view controller2. In this case, I don't need to make any changes because it already matches. All right, so once you have this done, this is the code that launches a new storyboard um, with the view controller and um, storyboard you passed in. Now, the other thing we need to do at this point is um connects the is to connect the storyboard the new storyboard with the view controller so to do that we open up the new storyboard and then uh we click the plus button we click the plus button and then we click uh we search for view controller view controller and then you drag the view controller into the storyboard. So now we have that here. So just to make things obvious, we're going to add a simple text view to this uh, view, um, storyboard. Just to make it different so i'm gonna find a label put it here customize it a little bit this is this changes are happening under uh storyboard two okay call this maybe smart no, let's call it storyboard storyboard two and then let's increase the font size i'm gonna expand this uh, increase the font size and then we are going to change the background color of this view this view this white part is the view uh, I'm going to change the background color to something a little different maybe uh, I always have trouble choosing a color light gray I think that's what we have for the other one right we shouldn't match them yeah let's choose something different maybe black all right uh view storyboard two uh we should change the background color to black black yeah black and then we change the button to white uh button background yeah something brighter all right so I'm going to center this text great and I'm going to make it bold um, notice I, I went on the font section I clicked on this T here I'm going to change this to bold again I, I went on um, first I selected the the label I went on the font section of the identity um, of the attributes inspector 
go into the fonts I clicked on this T here and I selected bold done all right okay so now we have um, 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 customized the storyboard a little bit now let's connect the new view controller to the storyboard they have to be connected for this whole thing to work so we're going to now use the while we are on while we are on the view controller of storyboard 2 we're going to click the identity inspector and then you're going to see this um option called class click that and then type in view controller we're trying to find our view controller 2 right here see it so you click it view controller 2 and do one more thing for me copy it copy the name double click copy it control c up up command c and then come below here where it says storyboard id identity and paste that in view controller 2 and check this box that says use storyboard id check the box then boom you're done okay so what we just did now is um we connected our view controller visual to our view controller code okay and again to do that all you had to do was um click on identity inspector select class select your view controller name and then um, paste the same name into storyboard id and check this box all right um so now this is done the next thing to do is to actually execute the code that would launch this new storyboard too so on view controller one we had this code which we got from um, the snippets and we had this name that matches our storyboard too oh by the way also caps is really important so if the storyboard two starts from a capital letter make sure the s here is a capital letter same thing with everything in programming um, capital letters matter they're not the same with a small letter so um, so keep that in mind uh, so now let's run the app let's run the app everything looks good let's run the app so I'm going to, to run the app I'm going to make sure uh, my app is going to be running on, a, on an iPhone 11 that's the simulator that I chose so let me press play Hmm. Okay, looks like our button is not showing. Let's find out why. Uh, so on our launch screen, that storyboard. Oh, so we actually made a mistake. This should be our main dot storyboard, not our launch screen dot storyboard. So we have to undo some stuff. So let's move this out of storyboard folder I'd rather move in the main dot storyboard folder this is the one we needed not the launch screen so that means this is um, our main dot storyboard not the launch screen you we almost wouldn't be using this throughout this course uh, so let's move the main dot storyboard into the storyboards folder and then go to view controller one and remove this connection here let's remove this connection okay and then go to our main dot storyboard add a button just like we did uh, button okay button I'm going to change the font size Okay, I'm gonna call this screen two. Screen two. I'm gonna change the background color a little bit. 
In this case, I'm going to make it uh, dark gray, go to dark. Uh, let's see, something lighter. Okay, and then I'm going to change the background color of the button to be Yeah, I'm gonna call this, I'm uh, gonna change the text color to black. Black, and I'm gonna make it bold as well. Regular, bold. All right, and then I'm going to connect this button to our screen. Uh, and our screen that we're talking about here is our view controller um, one, this one. So. We're gonna click this, this menu up here, and click Assistant. And then it opens up our View Controller 1 um, code. So all I have to do now is drag, drag the button into the screen, into the View Controller screen. And I'm gonna call this um, Screen. screen two button clicked uh, press enter and then I'm gonna go to github copy the code again this code came from this link here and then paste it in here change uh, change this storyboard to and view controller to to match the to match this and this. All right. Once you have that done, once you have that done, we're gonna press play. I'm pretty sure this should work now. Great. So now it's working. So when you click. Um, screen 2 it launches the screen 2 this is actually very dark let me change it a little bit uh, let's see storyboard 2 so I'm going to change this a little bit uh, expand this background yeah, this this is okay. No, that's the one we had on the wall. Light gray color. I'm sure that's not the same with this one. It's the same. So I'm going to change this to something different. Uh, let's just do blue. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, system gray. All right, so I'm going to click run. Screen two, and it launches a new screen. To go back, I pull this down. Actually, let me change the color one last time. <laughs> uh, let's see. That gray. Run screen two, yeah, that, that's a better contrast. Um, so it opens up a new screen, screen two. So now this is a new view controller, and this is the original one, the main view controller. Um, so this is how you do you perform a basic button click in iPhone development. Um, let me hide this. So, and um, in the next sections, we are going to dive deeper into things like variables and um, doing more advanced stuff like modifying text on screen, um, saving data, um, and adding extensions and all the other good stuff. Um, so for now, um, remember to follow up on the homework, which is learning Swift on Code Academy. Um, this is still the link. 
Um, so follow up on that and then in the next session, in the next section, we'll build upon what we just did. Um, oh, we actually forgot something, but we'll do that as we go up, as we go forward, preloading eight buttons. So um, with that said, I'll catch you in phase three, all right?